Well, it's safe to say that South Floridians know how to pre prepare for hurricanes, but when it comes to tornadoes, which we saw just the other day, that's a whole other story. Yeah, we recently saw one destroy an area of Palm Beach Gardens, and we've gotten several tornado warnings throughout the week. So how do you prepare for a twister? CBS News Miami's Gabrielle Arzola joins us in the studio tonight. And Gabby, we saw some rough weather just over the last month. That's right. Lauren Elliott, in the last four weeks, we saw record flooding and water spouts. But after last week's tornado in Palm Beach Gardens, there was a lot of chatter online on what to do in the event of a tornado. So we went on the hunt for some answers. Oh my God. It's, like right in it's something many South Floridians have never seen before. Cars being whipped around by a tornado in Palm Beach Gardens. Tornado, tornado, tornado. April was a busy month for weather, which is unusual, according to our chief meteorologist, Ivan Cabrera. April is typically a quiet month. Don't ask 2023. It was a completely different story. Now, the big misconception here is that tornadoes would only strike down in rural areas, but that's certainly not the case. And not just in 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 rural areas and metro areas. Obviously, they can happen in, in both, but uh, I just think folks aren't used to that here in South Florida. So what exactly do we do in a tornado warning? We asked Chief Meteorologist Scott Paget from CBS News Dallas, who's no stranger to tornadoes. If you know that there's a warning right where you are, get off the road because you don't want to be in that projectile necessarily with a car. A car is one of the most dangerous places to be if a tornado is coming through. And if you're inside? Having a safety plan in place, just knowing lowest level of your house, most interior room possible. Um, if you're in an apartment building, condo building, get away from the windows, get to that stairwell if you can, get to the lower level if you can, um, get away from the glass lobbies. Uh, because those doors can blow up and glass can go everywhere and just try to go into the most interior portion of that building. Unlike hurricanes, tornado warnings come very quickly, but the good news here is that it doesn't happen often. We get up to 11 a year. 90% of them are on the EF0, EF1. What does that mean? Well, winds up to 110 miles an hour. And this is the key, the alert time. You get 10 to 15 minutes. If you don't have your alerts, if you don't have your apps, that's all you get. All right, so a tornado in South Florida may be foreign for some, but like our chief meteorologist Ivan Cabrera says, these weather events happen all the time. We're just documenting them more now, right, Ivan? I think a little bit of that, yeah, absolutely. You know, we have a lot more cameras. Everybody's got uh, a phone uh, on their hand, so we get a lot of the reports. But as you said, the tornadoes in South Florida are not all that uncommon. Typically, we get the lower end, but you know, when we talk about lower end, we're still dealing with it called the damage scale, the enhanced Fujita scale that goes from zero to one. So we get about 11 a year. This is not all of Florida. This is just in uh, South Florida. And out of those, over 90% have winds that could, you know, uh, be anywhere from uh, 60 to as much as uh, 100 miles an hour plus. And that obviously can cause uh, some significant uh, damage. And as we talked about there, the key difference is, we, you know, we're talking about hurricanes, uh, we forecast them for a week. Sometimes we're even uh, talking about them uh, longer, but tornadoes just pop up. Uh, we don't like that. 10 to 15 minute warnings. National Weather Service, though, that may sound like uh, just a few minutes, but that has improved significantly over the years as we've gotten better at detecting them. But it's one of those things where if you're not ready for them, you only have a few minutes uh, to get ready. And as Scott will point it out there, interior room of your home, not a lot of basements here, but you want to be away from windows and you're typically not safe in a vehicle. You saw that one vehicle getting lifted up. If I'm in a car and I can, you know, see in front of me, the best thing you can do is get into a ditch or if not, if it's too late, you know, lower your head uh, and uh, get away from uh, or try to uh, avoid the uh, front shield uh, windshield and maybe a little praying uh, would be good.